Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. It is now just after one. I've just had my lunch and I've started on the sleeve. I didn't do any knitting at all yesterday. But during the day, I had a blinding headache I don't know where it came from because I don't usually get headaches it was like a migraine type of headache and I just could not knit I couldn't concentrate and I had to go and lie down after lunch time and I thought I was going to have to cancel my bingo actually because it was so bad but by about four o'clock I took a couple of ibuprofen and it just disappeared like it never had happened. I don't know why I got a headache like that, but I've never ever had headaches. Don't get headaches, very rare. So I've never had migraine, but I think that was similar to that. It must have been because I think one of my daughters in law, I think um, Annette, I think she used to get migraines, and what she described to me was what happened to me yesterday. And so I just did not do anything in knitting yesterday and I just, I did try but I just could not concentrate and that and... But anyway that's all over with and gone now and hope it doesn't return again. But I went to bingo with my friend last night and I did take a little bit knitting with me to the bingo and I'll show you in a minute um, when I tell you about my bingo night. It wasn't one of my, it was an order but it was for my friend who actually when I finish this one for Belinda hers is next because this will probably be the next one I'll finish and hers was the next order after that so I thought I'll she's keep hinting you know because it is a while since she ordered it and she keeps hinting and hinting and I thought I'll do a little bit of hers just to let her see, but only when I'm at bingo, I'm doing the other ones first. <laughs> so anyway, we're at bingo and I won £60 last night. <laughs> so me and my friend had £30 each, but you know, every time I win, I get called. Everybody. Oh, they're coming at her again. You know, that was because I had won um, £20, I think it was, the week before. But you know, our friend Molly won three times. She won a line of £5. Then she won a, a £60 house, but two other people shouted as well. So they all got £20 each. And then I think it was the second last, the last two games we play, you know, we win quite a bit. She won the second last game. She had £150. And there wasn't a word said. Nobody said anything to her. But where we sit, me, my friend and Molly, the tables are all, it's one long, the seats are all one long, like, padded bench thing all the way along the wall. And it's where Molly sits as a gentleman sits. Before her, there's this gentleman, and then there's Molly, and then there's me and my friend Anne, and then the next table is another lady called Anne, and there's a gentleman who usually sits, um, I, can't, I can't remember all the fellas' names, that sits there, and there's another table with two other men sit on the, um, the end, and every single one of us along that row won the bingo last night, except my friend Anne. She was livid. She said, well, what's the matter with me? She said, everybody else has won. She says, and they've missed me out. <laughs> and I said to her, that's just the way things go. And, you know, I said, we went up for the tickets at the same time. I said, I got my ticket first and then you got your ticket. So I says, if you had went first, you would have got the ticket I got. So you would have won. It would have been, doesn't make any difference. We both won with share. <laughs> But anyway, I'm saying <coughs> we went for a meal first. There's just me and my friend Anne go for a meal and I always um, message Molly and tell her 
I could be we could be a bit earlier tonight or a bit later. I suppose it depends how quick they are with the um the meal. Well, they were quite early actually, because I usually pick Molly up usually for about quarter past seven. But we were finished before seven o'clock. Um, they got the meal straight away, and even though there was quite a lot in the place, I think it was because of the Halloween. I think people were going out for meals because of that. But they know us when we go in, and he always comes, the fella that serves us, he always comes and asks us, he just misses everybody else, always comes to see what we want. So we picked Molly up about seven o'clock instead of quarter past seven, so I got in a bit earlier, and I'm glad I took some knitting with me, because I thought, like, my headache had gone and all that, and I thought, I'm going to do a little bit knitting, but I thought, to keep my friend happy, I took hers in with me. So I'll show you what I did for her. She's picked this silver grey, pull the needle out and unfold it. Because I showed her the last time she was at my house, I showed her the wool and that, and she saw this and she picked this. I didn't like to tell her I'd put that to one side for myself, but I can always get some more. So she picked that the silver grey. And I showed her a lot of patterns that I had done, that I had knitted and all that, and she picked the blackberry one. So that was how much I'd done last night in the um, the bingo. And of course, that's the first time I've sat with knitting. I usually sit with crochet, and I had quite a few people coming up wanting to see how I did this stitch. And I was shown one, and I was telling her, well, you just drop the stitch down four rows and you pick it all up you pick that stitch up with that row the fifth stitch down and you pick them all up and knit them all together oh i couldn't do that oh i couldn't do that i'd be dropping stitches all over do you take orders no i don't take orders because <laughs> she's asking me who is it for and han was sitting just mine <laughs> that's when she said don't you take orders and no i do not take orders I am now I've got enough. I want to knit what I, when I finish the orders I've got, I'm going to knit what I want to knit. And I will probably be doing ones like this. This is my friend. It's only a 34 inch because she's not very big. That's just skinny. That's what I keep telling her. She's skin and bone. So it's only a 34 and I only have 90, I think 91 stitches for this. So I'm writing the pattern down as I'm knitting it. So it's quite possible I'll get some adult ones <laughs> in these. But I was very happy that we were a little bit earlier and I did get quite a bit because I got all the rib done and then I got started on the um, on the blackberry part. But that was all I had managed to do. Nobody was interested in where I was knitting until I started doing the, the blackberry. And somebody come up and says, they call that bubble door, that's his know they call it blackberry, that's his I call it blackberry. I've always called it blackberry and I'll always call it blackberry. All right, keep your hair on. <laughs> so that's for my friend and I won't be doing any more of that until I finish Belinda's cardigan or next Thursday at the bingo. If I haven't finished it by then, I'm hoping I'll finish it by then. So I'm putting this back in. But I had loads of people coming up and asking about this pattern and that, uh, and somebody's saying, oh, you know, we could have a, a knitting natter here at the club sometime, couldn't we? I said, you know, I think I've got nothing else to do. Never mind your knitting natter. <laughs> I said, I've got plenty of that on a Thursday when I come to the bingo. So that's that. Done, and now I'm going to carry on knitting <laughs> up this sleeve. And then my friend said to me, I was asking her what kind of sleeve like shaping. I says, do you want a raglan or a set in sleeve? And she says, well, I don't know what's a set in sleeve. I says, well, you see this sweater I'm wearing, that's a set in sleeve. <laughs> oh, no, I want raglan. She says, I want it going up there like that. I said, all right, I'll do it raglan for you then. And then she says, and I want it hip length, I want it dead long. Oh, God, I says, I didn't know you. I says, I've only got six balls of this. I says, I hope there is enough. But I think there is with her being a smaller ball, smaller person. It just takes less balls. Normally, for her size, I would probably get it in less than four balls. 
for the extra length she wants. So that was just a little bit for what I've been haven't been doing and what I am doing, what I'm going to do. And I have just been doing, um, I've done two. One Happy Meal and one Timo Shopping Haul to show what I had been doing and what I had been getting lately. And I used use my table at the other side of the room turn my computer around where well, you, you can see the gadget there that i use for doing the, the things on the table and it was much easier but i had to shift everything off that table before i could do it so turning them back round again So anyway, check my other channel for the Happy Meal and the Shopping Haul. And I'll have to remember, because I noticed myself when I was doing the, um, the Shopping Haul and that, I have my, my phone in the, the thing on the end of the table and I'm sitting in the middle of the table and I'm sort of looking across so I wasn't looking straight forward like this at people I was looking sort of across that way <laughs> so like I wasn't talking to people it looked a bit funny so I'm going to have to move my, my make sure I have my seat on the end the edge of the bed I use my I do have a one of those seats I can sit on and I can make it so I'm looking straight at people because I realised after I watched the, the video I says I'm not looking straight ahead, I'm looking sort of to the side. But you know, that's the way things go. I've already done those videos, I'm not doing them again. So, thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you another time. So, bye for now.